Sometimes electronic circuits get a little bit boring and I want to do other experiments. And this is one of the other experiments. And in fact it is very, very simple. We know that there are on the market uh, these tiny but extremely fierce magnets. And this is one of them. Uh, they are often used on a steel cable to hang postcards on, etc. etc. But in this, this uh, video I want to use it in a somewhat other way. And I know that, say, in the chemistry, these uh, fierce magnets are also used. Say, such a magnet here. Often there's a Teflon side here on the outer side. And then uh, say we have here this unit and then uh, there is a revolving magnet here. Say, uh, yes, a revolving magnet. And uh, on the other side we have here, say for instance, a glass jar and a Teflon unit like a bean. Teflon bean is in that glass jar and when that um, uh, magnetic field changes the, um, the, the bean uh, also moves etc etc so when you are interested in chemistry uh, you surely will know what happens here. Uh, I've worked uh, for a part of my life in uh, that field anyway. So a change in magnetic field makes that the, say, the bean here inside moves around so you can stir certain fluids. That's, say, always the idea. Here's a fluid. The fluid is turned around and uh, by the, say, outside electromagnetic force, anyway. So, of course, here there must be, say, uh, some kind of way to move that uh, bean here uh, quickly around or slowly around, etc., etc. When you go to chemistry, uh, websites, uh, you will surely see this combined with heating plates, often combined with heating plates, etc. etc. But well, this is a kind of, say, first and sloppy video, and I have to say that even I don't know whether it will succeed. I wanted to say, uh, show this, um, uh, this very simple unit, it's here say it's 30 windings and here there is a kind of test tube glass test tube like this etc etc and uh, well here inside we have that very very tiny and fierce magnet let me show what happens when we add here to this coil 50 hertz at a certain um, current of course there must be enough current to make that magnet move. Anyway, let's try and see. At the moment, here it is uh, on 25 volts AC. I can also choose 30 volts AC, but uh, the idea is here that we add to this coil 50 Hertz uh, with a certain current. So, let's see what happens. So it almost jumps out of the out of the tube. Anyway, that's completely logical. We have here an electromagnetic field. Uh, while the uh, the tiny magnet is turning, the field of the magnet uh, turns. That means that we have all kinds of say strange 
movements anyway. Um, the idea is, say, to make an emulsion. And an emulsion is a substance that is concerned of, in general, of water and oil. So I now have here oil, oil. I move a little bit of oil into the into the tube. And at the same time I put a little bit of water, tap water by the way, into the tube and let's see what happens. And I have to say this is also for me a completely new situation so I don't know what will happen here. Perhaps everything will be splattered with uh, oil and tap water but anyway let's look. Well, nothing happens. That's strange. And well, so that directly shows, say, the good idea of experiments. I now connect it again and we'll move the tube a little bit. Uh, we say perhaps say the oil and water uh, are to uh, make the movements of the magnet impossible. So let's yes, here it goes. So I need. I had not expected that this couldn't work at first. So. Say the the tiny magnet is say fixed here in the water layer. Of course, the oil uh, um, is on the upper side. The water is on the underside. But you can surely use this. As far as I know now, as a uh, unit to make emulsions. Well. There's some other, say, type of material, and this is, say, the standard wash material. And we know that when you add that, it acts as an emulsifator. So let's first see what this could bring. Here you can see a little bit what has happened. Is there emulsification? Email, etc. In fact, I don't know that. I have to study it better, but this is only in, say, kind of first experiment. So I add now one drop of this material to the substance, oil and water. So now I've used two drops. What we can conclude and see is that there is better emulsification. So the oil, sunflower oil, and the water here are in a certain way mixed up. When you want to make this circuit in a definite way, use good quality wire, use a power supply that can give out 4 ampere at approximately uh, 30 volts or so. Uh, also make it in such a way that your, your um, driver, the transformer, AC transformer, 50 hertz or 60 hertz, doesn't burn out. You can see at the moment that all my resistors here that our protective resistors, they protect against a too high current and they are uh, uh, automotive lamps. All of them glow and we don't see here any uh, voltage, but we see here approximately 2 ampere. And th that means that there is a low voltage but a very, very high current. Anyway. Only an experiment to show something about it.
uh, electrical issues, electronics, etc., etc. I switch out now the the power supply. Let's look. So this this stuff here acts as a kind of soap emulsifier. I have to say that normal soap. Uh, in many cases don't act as an emulsifier but this uh, fluid does etc. So let's look whether there was oh well very good to see interesting uh, the whole unit was so fierce the magnet uh, was so fierce going up and down that the uh, the test tube has broken, but we can conclude that there was a kind of emulsification here. You can see the oil and the water are mixed. Via this, these two, this fluid, that fluid and the tap water. Thanks for watching. Tap water was here. Thanks for watching. I hope it was a little bit interesting. It's only an experiment and perhaps, well, uh, with the help of that ID you can develop other circuits. And the first good ID is to, uh, say, cover such a tiny magnet, that tiny magnet that I've showed. It's here. So here now, here inside, with a layer of silicone, silicone kit or whatever, so that it is not, uh, so that it doesn't jump around too much, and that there are no resonances inside the glass tube. Because of the resonances inside the glass tube, that glass tube has broken. That's at least my ID. Correct me if I'm wrong. Thanks for watching.